I don't want people to be in two minds about anything, but I'd just like to uh, state that my Bible, my King James Bible, has been changing. It used to say wineskins, now it says bottles, and even it mentions a bottle of water. It used to say sandals, and now it says shoes with latchet. So that's what I've discovered in not having read my Bible for about eight years, but coming back to it, it now says butler instead of cupbearer. Now bear in mind I'm talking about the same Bible. Now what I want to bring your attention to is the book of Revelations, as I once knew it as. We know that book talks about swords and it talks about the battle of um, Armageddon and Christ will be triumphant against Satan the beast so we're familiar with the swords and the dragon that's a given but I've noticed that there are other things creeping in in my King James Version Bible I've noticed that there's so many word switches and there appears to be words like castle whereas the words were fortress or palace but I'm finding that the word castle is written in scripture now or should I say has been changed into scripture so like I said there's castles and maidens is uh, littered throughout now I recall it uh, being virgins and maid servants but now there's a lot of maidens now I know there's not a lot of difference between maiden and maid servant but there was in reading it now also there's bonnets and you know maids maidens are, are renowned for wearing bonnets my King James Bible is beginning to sound like King Arthur. Now here's another reason why there's dukes in the Bible now. That word used to be princes. And it used to be princes and sons of kings. Now it says dukes. I'm sorry about this being out of focus or not clear, but like I say, I found that there's a whole page now that looks peculiar um, and that's in um, I think that's in James James chapter 3 so to me that's a word switch taking away the word princes and putting in dukes now another thing I'm going to talk about is which in Luke 3 Luke chapter 3 the page looks peculiar to me it's it says which this and which that and I was thinking I know this spelling is different but it made me think which which it looks so ugly on the page as ugly as she does so I thought is there anything else that can you know why is it all all over the page and it's peculiar and then I found the word cauldron when it used to just say pot so I'm finding that there's peculiar peculiarities so you know it's not far-fetched now I know that scripture used to talk about sorcerers and it would say you know um, we must refrain from taking part in sorcery but with the prevalence of the word witch everywhere I've taken up to mean this kind of witch solely because it now says wizards instead of sorcerers or magicians so it's wizard this and you know wizard that um, I also discovered the word wand is now in the Bible where it used to say 
staff. So, you know, um, I'm finding that even the word magic is written in the Bible with a K, although it's not showing on the um, Bible Hub version. But I'm just not recognising the book because it's got magic with a K. And this is the Bible I'm talking about. You know, something that has been indoctrinated into people, perhaps when they were young and attending Sunday school and learning things. But this is the thing. We now have the word matrix instead of womb. I mean, it's saying that the word matrix has always been in there and it's matrix with an X. But I recall reading the words womb when it talked about the firstborn will be slain in Egypt if they don't cover the roof, uh, cover the lintel with, uh, you know, the blood to keep the Hebrews safe. So, <sighs> it's, uh, there, look, there it is. All that opened the matrix and every firstling among my cattle. So, like I said, it's matrix with an X, whereas that word has been spelt with a CK at the end previously. So I'm finding my Bible now has got castles. It's got maidens. It's got dukes. It's got a prevalence of the word witches everywhere, which seems so out of place. I know it's been a substituted word. And then, of course, we've got wizards instead of sorcerers. And the word magic with a K. Uh, and with, you know, shoes and latchet, my, my Bible seems like King Arthur story. I'm beginning to find it very disconcerting. Hebrews. Chapter 11 and verse 34. Quench the violence of fire. Escape the edge of the sword. Out of weakness were made strong. Wax valiant in flight, in fight. Turn to flight the armies of the aliens. I mean, listen to that. That word used to be fighting the foreigner uh, or the enemy or the stranger. But now it says, you know, flight of the armies of the aliens. I mean, it's just sounding so bizarre to me. I'm finding these new words in the same Bible I've owned since I was six years old. Um, like I say... If Hollywood do a new film on the Bible, it's going to be a blockbuster. No one will recognise it. It would be, it would be, it would be like a Harry 